And unfortunately, there's no consensus answer to this question. You know, most of us have been feeding our brains improperly our entire lives. So we don't have any idea what our true personal best is until we begin eating right. And of course, poor nutrition is not the only cause of mental health problems, but it stands to reason that the brain will develop best, function best, and be most resilient in the face of adversity and stress if we feed it a brain healthy diet. But what is a brain healthy diet? In my opinion, a brain healthy diet should meet all three of these simple criteria. It should naturally provide adequate amounts of all essential nutrients, which means it must contain animal foods. It should exclude ingredients which damage the brain, which means it should be free of refined carbohydrates, vegetable oils, and other factory foods. And third, it should supply energy in ways that support healthy brain metabolism over the lifespan, which means it should keep blood sugar and insulin levels in a healthy range and allow the brain to spend some time in ketosis on a regular basis. So why do I say the brain needs animal foods? I say this because plant foods lack key nutrients required for healthy brain development and function. The first macronutrient we'll talk about is fat. The brain is high in fat, moderate in protein and very low in carbohydrate. A full 20% of brain fat is a very special omega-3 fatty acid called DHA. And DHA does not exist in plant foods. DHA has a special configuration or shape that allows it to function as a semiconductor of electricity. So you find it in places in the brain and body where electricity is important, including mitochondrial membranes where the electron transport chain is busy generating energy, synapses of the brain where cell-to-cell -cell communication take place. And DHA is critical to the development of the human cortex in early life. And it has been hypothesized that without DHA, consciousness and symbolic thinking, hallmarks of human intelligence would be impossible. While there are pathways in the body that can convert plant fats into these precious essential animal fats, they are inefficient and vary from one person to another. There is broad consensus that these conversion pathways cannot be relied upon to meet the brain's high demand for DHA during early brain development. Women who have children bear the unique responsibility for feeding the brains of future generations through their food choices. Study after study finds that new mothers who choose vegetarian and, and vegan diets have a hard time supplying their babies with DHA. If these much lower levels are not sufficient uh, to support the developing human brain, irreversible damage could result. 